Now let's say we have an equation like this. If I had something like uh, 2 to the x is equal to 4, then here is a problem, an equation, that we know how to solve, mainly because we can spot it. It's one of those index problems that we've looked at before, and we should be able to identify that x would have to be 2. 2 squared is 4. A similar problem would be 2 to the x is equal to 8. And you should be able to identify that that would be x is equal to 3, because 2 cubed is 8. However, what if I had 2 to the x is equal to 5? Now here's a problem, because I know that for this solution we had x is 2, and that solution was x is 3. But now, I've got 2 to the power of something is 5, a number between 4 and 8. And so logically I would expect that my answer, x, is somewhere between 2 and 3. But I don't have an exact number for it. So, let's have a look at this in a little bit more detail. Let's look at the graph of y equals 2 to the x, which we now know how to sketch. Going through 1 on the y-axis is y equal, that is y is equal to 2 to the x. And the line y equals 5 is this line here. So we're trying to find this intersection point, the x-coordinate of it. Now this brings about the idea of using something that we haven't met before, known as logarithmic notation. So this is currently in index notation, and we are able to convert this into logarithmic notation, and that means that we're going to be writing it as x is equal to log base 2 of 5. Now the 2 is the base number, and the 5 is what 2 to the x would be equal to. So 2 to the x is equal to 5. And so we can say that x here would be log base 2 of 4. And x here would be log base 2 of 8. And if you have a calculator that has a button that looks like this, then you're going to be laughing. That's, that's brilliant. Okay, because then you can just type in, press that button, okay, uh, which for a Casio is in the top right. Then you can plug in 2, and then 5, and then you should be able to get 2.32198095, 2 2.32 to 3 significant figures. So we thought it would be somewhere between uh, 2 and 3, and it is. So you might want to just try and plug those into your calculator, and make sure you get 2 and 3. So this will allow you to then uh, solve an equation like this, using one step going straight to the logarithm. So in general, if you're looking at y is equal to b to the x, then its logarithmic notation is x is equal to log base b of y. Okay, so this is the important bit. Now, if your calculator doesn't have this, then we're going to have to use another method which we'll be looking at in a later video, okay? And requires you taking logarithms of both sides. But the next video, we're not quite there yet, so in the next video we're going to be looking at the laws of logarithms and how we can start to look at more complicated problems.